afternoon. Welcome to 2015 Bunker Hill Day Parade. It's a beautiful day here in Charleston. The parade is just starting to hit our area now. So I'm glad to have you all here with us today. We hope we're going to have a great parade for you. Going by are the military. We have some uh, parks department and it looks like all the state police. I don't have the list right now, but we're trying to catch them. Um, pretty soon my co-host will be here with me. should be... Uh, uh, state Rep Dan Ryan. We have a little break in the action right now, but it's a, a beautiful day here. We're hoping everybody enjoys themselves. And remember, make the right choices today. Be careful. Uh, with the parade is an honor today. The Bunker Hill Day Parade is in honor of Jerry Sheehan, who is a member of the James W. Bunker Hill Post 26 for years. And uh, he passed away last year. And we, we, he did a lot for the parade, a lot for Charleston, and we miss him. And I, wanna, I know his family's in the parade today, so we should be able to get to talk to him. I see a lot of townies on the route today. They're big families. It's a big day in Charleston. Uh, we're very proud. Charleston's a top, proud community. And we had the breakfast this morning. The governor was excellent. The mayor, the attorney general from our town, too, Mara Haley. It's always nice to have townies representing us in the public service. So don't forget, today also is Flag Day, uh, June 14th. So uh, we sort of got a double today, and I'm glad for it, especially for the veterans. Oh, here we are. I see uh, my co-host coming down the hill, our state rep, Dan Ryan. He's shaking hands, you know, typical politician, but he's doing his job. <clears throat> Looks a little different than I was with him at the breakfast this morning. He took his coat off. I hope he walked the whole route. If he comes in here and says he rode, I'm going to be very disappointed. There he is, right here. Welcome, State Rep. How are you, pal? Are you me or no? Yeah. Oh, you were? We're on live. How was it? How was the parade? Hello, everybody. It was great. Fantastic. Big crowd this year. Was it? Oh, yeah. Yep, big crowd. I hope you, I hope you walked the whole route. I jogged that last little bit to get here to see you, and I'm a little out of breath. Yeah, here we are. I can see our Chief Marshal coming down the street, Dan. Uh, we're going to have to grab Bobby and his family. We will do that, yeah. He had a great parade. I hope great he, week. I hope he walked. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to give him the business if he didn't? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a lot of people with him. He's got some, uh, I can see a couple of Air Force people, a couple of Marines. Coast Guard, his wife, lovely wife and his family. And uh, Commissioner Bill Bratton was oh, with yeah, them also. Oh, yeah, Commissioner Bill Bratton. New York Police. New York Police Department marched with him. That's awesome. Yep. They were colleagues in Boston uh, back when He's Bratton was you. here in Boston. Here we go. We'll get him. Is that my job to bring him over here? We're going to bring him over here for TV. There we are, the Chief Marshal, of old townie, Bobby. Hi, Bob. How was the parade, pal? It was outstanding. Yeah. My legs, I'll let you know tomorrow, though. Wait, wait, wait. One question. Did you walk the whole route? I did. I did Amazing. not. Amazing. But I have a brother, and I'm not going to say who, but he's from Wisconsin, and he kind of wimped out on a couple of the hills. <laughs> oh, did he? But I'm not going to say that. Oh, I, well, so we won't put it on the air, which is on, on no, the air. No, don't tell anybody oh, else. okay. No, all please, right. Don't say yeah. anything. Uh, how was the crowd, all right? Very good. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't think it was for me, but they were glad somebody was here. No, it's But nice. it was good. I think uh, pretty much every street we were on had people on it. Yeah. And that was great. You had a good, uh, nice contingent, Oh, yeah, you? I had a great contingent. All my in-laws and outlaws and all those others, uh, uh -huh. quite a few of them, military, you know, uh, active or reserve. And, uh, you know, right. they've all served in some capacity. You did a great job all week, Bobby. One of the things, I tell you, the town is amazing. Oh, no, it was great. It, it, they showed their colors this week. Uh, they did. Brought a lot of memories. I mean, uh, the training field. I, would, I already told them. A lot of them. hours in the training field, boy. I told them you used to hang here training. and used oh, to yeah. play in there. All right, Dick, yep. you're going up, pal. I'm going Signal up. in here. Thanks, Bob. Right. Great job. Great Thanks, parade. Bobby. Great week. Yeah, we'll Thank right. you. That was our Chief Marshal, Bobby O'Toole. Good man, good friend, lifelong Charleston, big family. What do you got to say there, Rep? Let's, hey! Uh, what? Steve Sweeney, how are you? There's one of our real townies. Hi, Steve. How are you, pal? Good to see you, Steve. Uh, we're going to leave the microphone away from you, okay? This is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> Want to come on in for one second? 
Sit down, Steve. Steve Sweeney, Charleston Zone, yeah, what legendary. A what a great day. It was a fantastic parade. You know, I do this. This is only the second year, a third year I've actually walked. But I walk with the mayor and I see all these people that knew my family and everything. It's a wonderful thing. It's great. It's yeah. always nice to see you. But Tom, yeah. Tom Bon Towny, pal. Yeah, and it was a great breakfast. Thank too. you very much. Did Scrambled great... eggs were a little runny, but other than that, it was great. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. All right. Oh, here and we here he is. Go ahead, Go ahead, Bill. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, we got the mayor, Marty Walsh. Hey, Mayor, how are you? Good to see you. I'll represent him. What's going on? Great. Yeah, a great day today. I'll tell you, the crowd was great and nice little breeze and a lot of great pride here in Charleston today. You've had a good week. You no, it was, it's a great week, you know, and um, Charleston's always a great week. There's so many great different events and people involved and people really come out for, for everything, which is great. We're glad to have you. You, you, you showed up for everything. It was a lot awesome of pride to in this have town. it. Yeah, I tell you, a lot that's of pride it. in this town. Well, enjoy the day. I know that we're holding up a parade right, here, so thank All you. Right, thank Mayor. you, Mayor. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Mayor Marty Walsh dropping by. Hey, look at Councilor this. Michael, Michael Flaherty. Hi, Mike. How are you? Michael Flaherty. Great to see you. What a day. How was it, Paul? Crowd was great. As always, great reception. It's a great neighborhood. It's like a second you, home You made me, the so. whole route. You're in pretty yeah, good shape. Huh? And, uh, and obviously, we got a great shout out uh, to our pal David Whalen, a uh, good friend and yep. supporter of mine. And, and Danny's is the mayor's as well, so uh, it was great to hear his voice today. I know he's recovering from an illness, but Very we're good. excited to be here again today. Awesome, awesome. That's um, the awesome. breakfast was good. It was excellent as always. Yeah, yeah. Mike. Is nice seeing you, pal. Well. Thank Thank you very we much. have uh, Jerry guys, Sheehan's uh, right, tribute Mike. here. His brother Doc Sheehan driving the car. The whole Sheehan family. The whole Sheehan family with them. They marched uh, right through the parade. They did a fantastic job. Uh, Jerry is one of those guys that uh, I don't think the parade would have gone on the last uh, bunch of years without him. Very yeah, quiet yeah. guy in the back doing all the work. He raised a lot of money raised every year money. for us. Sitting down the mall, believe it or not, with a jug, putting money in it, selling shirts. We really miss him. It's, uh, it, he was a big asset to Bunker Hill Day, and that's why the parade is in his honor this year. So. Kudos to the Sheehan family and our yeah. you know, sympathy goes out with them. And, and Doc and Rita were my next door neighbors for most of my life and now they live behind me or I live behind them. So uh, it's a, just a great family and very instrumental in all we do here through the week. Well, we're finally getting into the meat of the parade now, Dan. I, don't, I can't tell. It's, it looks like a uh, color guard. I, I don't know if it's a, um, I'm waiting for Arthur to give a name. We don't have the list of the people in the parade, so. Okay. Well. Usually the, the We'll just listen to the music. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. That's the Manchester Regional Police and Fire Brigade. Very good. Very sharp outfit. Wow, that's quite the outfit. I know they're all got a big sigh of relief when they went by us. I don't see the um, Bill Bratton over there. I was going to try to get him oh, over. Oh yeah. There. Okay. Oh, well, here we come. The military. I got the. Uh, the USS Constitution and the. Executive Office of the USS Constant to me and it's in Lieutenant Commander. I don't he walked right by us with the Marine Corps escort. That's Charlie, uh, Charlie Monahan with them on the left. Yep. He's uh, marching with the Navy Navy contingent. The, the, looks like the US Marines right behind them. And of course Commander Giller on stage. Former commander of the United States Constitution. Yeah, 50 uh, 59th. And this is the 73rd, I think. The, okay. I think we'll get the executive office of the USS Constitution, Lieutenant Commander Tim Anderson. I was trying to get him over here, but we'll see if Bobby. Oh, who we got? Let's 
sounds like, uh, I don't want to say their name before we see the banner. We have our back to the parade. That's why we're having yes. some. It's a new location for the uh, television crew. They, they moved the TV. St. Alfonso's band. The, the Alfonso band. From Lawrence, From Massachusetts. From Lawrence, Massachusetts. Excellent. Very nice. They also started the... Before the parade kicked off, we did the national anthem down at the bottom of Bunker Hill Street. Oh, very nice. Uh, very this nice. is the band that, that did that rendition. It was, a, it was a great tribute to the Stars and Stripes. United States Navy Color Guard and the USS Constitution coming up next. We didn't want to talk to it. We don't want you people to miss the music. But as you know, we're near the reviewing stand and they stop and play. So yeah. now, we're trying to get Bill Bratton's attention from uh, the commissioner uh, from the New York Police Department, who was very instrumental in the Boston Police Department for years. Nice being down here. You get to actually hear all the bands for a while. They stop. This is the best part of being at the, the reviewing yeah. stand. I know when we were up there with the post, I used to love listening to all the music. Oh, the USS Constitution, Dan? That's yeah. them. USS Constitution. A commission fighting ship. So these men and women here are actually in service to the United States as they serve on the ship. So we want to thank them for their service. Shop. Always military units, always. Navy, Navy Seabees. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's a replica. This is one of the kids' big favorites. The kids love this float. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's in dry dock. Yeah, yep. It's going to be in dry dock for three years. So it's still open to the public. Oh, the... U.S. Navy Seabees, Congressman Capuano's dad was a CB World Is War II. Is that right? Oh, yes, see, that's something I never knew. This looks like the Coast uh, USS Constitution drill team. U.S. Navy Silver Dolphins, Color Guard. Oh, it's Silver Dolphins, Color Guard. They're gonna do a little drill for us now with their weapon, with their rifles. Very good, that's good. Nice job, fellas, nice job. It's always nice to see our active service, man, I'll tell you. Massachusetts National Guard. Now, coming down, we have the Massachusetts National Guard. A little Humvee coming by us now. Always the military, the kids usually, the kids love the military um, trucks. As I do some of the adults. <laughs> this looks like the Chelsea Soldiers Home Honor Guard. You could be right, Dan. It's tough to see them, like you say. They, they moved everything around on us this year. That is them. Tom Miller in the middle there. Does a great job with the Honor Guard. Yep, and most of them are all Vietnam veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, I know I've seen, I've been, they've been doing a couple of events with us the last few years. And there's the van, yep. Soldiers Home Soldiers Chelsea Home. Very good. Great job. Well, it seems to be moving right along, which is uh, fantastic. 
I know usually the chief marshal usually holds the parade up. <laughs> well, now that I got to, to march in the front, now I know why there's gaps in the parade. I got to see the, the stops. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a tradition in Charlestown that they stop by the old Sully's. It's uh, the family. They just stop there in case anybody has to use the men's room. That's what I believe was going uh, I on think there. That's, yeah. that's the only thing we use it for. So if you believe that, then you know Danny and I are from the town. So. Oh, what we got here? We got uh, Northeast Italian Band from Marching in Concert. Yeah, Northeast Italian Band sponsored by Congressman Mike Capuano. Excellent job, Mike. See, you should have known that. That's your old boss. That's him. I've marched uh, Bucket Hill Street with him many years. Yeah, how I read you used to run it. He worked the parade like I've never seen anyone work a parade. Oh, looks like we're getting into the ROTC. Boston Public Schools, ROTC. I believe there's an Air Force uh, ROTC. I know that in the uh, U.S. Army ROTC right here. Award. We have a, we had a special award given out to one of these, uh, Cadet Lieutenant Commander Anna Brusso from the Naval ROTC unit from J.D. Bryan High School was awarded the Cadet of the Year. I don't know where she is, but I have a little bio on her, and I guess um, I guess they pick it out of 10 ROTCs, and uh, she was picked the number one cadet. It's really a great program. These kids add a lot of uh, respectful pageantry to any yeah. of our veterans' events. And and these are all our Boston Public Schools, so uh, it's nice to see them staying active in the ROTC. I guess the um, Anna Busio won the Danford Award, which is the high honor for uh, ROTCs, which is excellent. Congratulations to her and all the kids that are marching today from the ROTCs. I have, we have quite a few of them. Of course, Charleston High has the ROTC program, and right. uh, Commander Lopes retired last year. He did a fantastic job for a number of years. Right. So they're on a new command now. Yeah, and now uh, the Major Chase on is still in charge of them. I don't know who the new um, sergeant that took over. I haven't met him yet. I figure you people would enjoy listening to music instead of listening to us all the time. Nice, is what representative, I guess, of uh, all the high schools right there, all the one color guy. It's a great way to do it. Oh yeah, excellent, excellent. I guess this uh, that must have been the girl, Anna, that can buy us. the Army the Junior ROTC. Yeah, yeah. That's right, it's Junior when they're in high school, Bill, and uh, ROTC in college, in college, right? yeah. Yep, Junior, you're right. Now we have a contingent of Marine of, uh, oh, no, we're still on the, looks like the Army. Yep, Army. Arthur knows, we'll listen. Dead. I think they got mine picked up. That's it. This is the ROT Juniors 
Marine Corps. They do a good job. These kids are very proud of it. You know, it's, it's a nice uh, tradition in the high schools. Uh, and we don't have the name of this. Um, oh, John O'Brien High School. Yeah. And you know, the, all their instructors are all um, Navy, Army, Marine personnel, too. Some of them are retired, some, most of them are, some of them are active. I know when you come down around that corner up the Tom Martin Square and you see the reviewing stand, you get a big sigh of relief. Parade is almost over. It's a long parade for a small town, but it... Well, yeah, it seems like a pretty good crowd right here this year. I was surprised, yeah. Looks like the United States, another, oh, Navy. Maybe uh, Junior ROTC. Hey, who's this guy coming? Oh, Charlestown. There they are. Charlestown High, Junior Air Force. Very good. It's nice to see the young kids in the standing there that salute. What it's all about, Phil, right yeah. Now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, who is this? He's sitting over yeah, here. Well, Danny, I know you're not behind the sign, so you're here with it. No, but I got Billy T's and Bobby Powers and Anthony carrying the sign. They did a great job for me, so I can sit here with you, Bill. Really it's great you're doing it. Now this is. Um... Daughters of the American Revolution. Okay. You picked that up faster than I did. Looks like we have a an old pipe pipe and drum from I'm trying to catch the name, like I say. Oh, we're gonna have Commander Gillen. It's bringing. Great Army of the Republic. Oh, we have Tim Anderson with us, the executive officer. Lieutenant Commander, let me shake your hand for what you do for us. Thank you very much, sir. Lieutenant Commander Tim Anderson, the Executive Officer of the USS Constitution. Thank you, and that history the USS Constitution is a major part of that. Thank you for your service and for what we do here tonight. All right, thank you for having me on. Thank you. And we have now. Hi, good afternoon, Justin Long. Uh, Justin Long, very good, Justin. You, from New England. The whole New England you do it. Excellent job. Very good. I was there this morning. It was a great honor to be there. This is my first uh, Bunker Hill day, so it's <laughs> really an honor to be a part of this. I, I didn't know how big it was until I came out here. Yeah, it's a small town, but big hearts, I'll tell you. Yeah. I'm from, uh, I'm from Hawaii, so I came all the way out here. The Navy sent me all the way out here. <laughs> but it's only the next state over. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Well, it's a pleasure having you, and nice seeing you. We're best of luck, Thank and keep stay, keep the course for us, pal. Thank, Thank you. Go Navy. Um, well, we were interviewing. We missed the National Park Service. There's a couple of our... Okay. All right. That Is that working up. now? Yeah. Sounds good. Charles Got a little Stout. problem with our mic. We must have Sal and Martina coming. Here, walking with uh, City Council. Hey, Where's we have our city council, District 1, Sal and Martina. Great day in Charles 
balls today, having blasts, marching in the parade. Everyone's all having a good time. Love Chow Sao, Chow Sao Pride. Keep it up. I see you got an Italian beard. I have my Italian beard. Every year I come and march with my Italian beard. And everyone loves them. So, Chow Sao Pride, love it. All right, for God, your name ends in a vowel. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Keeps going dead on us. Greg Nolan, John Taco over there. Yeah, Italian American. Uh, Italian -American. Uh, excellent, excellent job. They do a good job every year. I've seen Sal this morning and he said he had the Italian band. I was wondering why, but you know. I forgot. He always tells me he's got to get the attention. It wouldn't look right for him to have a pipe and drum band walking down the street. Yeah, no, they, they do a great job. <laughs> Italian band from Lawrence, Mass. They do a lot of the events in the North End, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? Oh, Sal Di Domenico, a senator. Representing the town of Charlestown and Everett. Sal, as always, has a great contingent with him. Well, this is Little Sal, though. This, I believe that's right. Yep. Little Sal. Sal Lamartina calls him Little Sal. We don't know <laughs> why, but I, but I call him Senator. <laughs> senator. How are you, Sal? Great uh, response out there? It's been great. Yeah, this is one of my favorite days of the year. The people at Charlestown are great. We had a beautiful day, and the crowds were big and, and very very uh, happy, and everybody had a good time. Good morning. I had a good breakfast this morning, too. The breakfast was great. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, this, this, this whole week, really, Charlestown Pride Week is the time that I look forward to all year long. And uh, even though I live in Everett, I feel like I'm part of Charlestown this week in a big way. So, Well, we made a lot of events. We appreciate it. And like I said, Tony Pride shows today, pal. That's it. That's it there. Yep. All right. And it's great to have a representative from Charlestown, yeah. too, Danny Ryan. Well, so I think I wouldn't have to do great too to much talking with him yeah. here. Yeah. Senator, Thanks, thank you for dropping Your music's by. Drowning, drowning you out, but uh, <laughs> great job. Great contingent out there. Thank you for everything, Sal. Thank you, Sal. Thank you, great Sal. job. There's thank our you, Senator. Senator Sal Thanks. DiDomenico. Pat Farris, Abraham Lincoln, Post 11. Yeah. Proudly salutes Pat Farris, U.S. Navy. World War II. A veteran II. herself, yes. Yeah. World War II, veteran, Pat oh, and, and with the commander of this year's uh, post, uh, Joan Snow. The women are very involved in Charlestown. You know, they belong to all the organizations. It's always nice. And of course, Florence Johnson passed. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, we miss her. But, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, a lot of people know her from her work with the Gold Star Mothers and exactly everything, right. but uh, a lot of people don't know that she was a veteran herself in World yeah. War II. It's a great history. And uh, Pat Farris was a past Chief Marshal, yep. and Florence Johnson was a past Chief Marshal. So God bless Florence and Pat. Now we got some military vehicles coming down. Oh, there's the, there's the uh, commissioner, Bill Bratton. I seen. I thought he was in the uniform. It's he's in civvies. Oh, there's an old. Here we go. Yeah. Joan Snow. Yeah. Oh yeah, she was riding with Patsy Ferris. They were in the same jeep, and yeah. uh, both of them were around all week at all the different events. Is Bill Durrett from the Charleston uh, Veterans History Project? Yeah, he does a fantastic. Does a fantastic job, job researching the uh, military history records of all the Charleston veterans. Fantastic job he does. And uh, the Hero Square, Dan, you want to mention uh, that? Well, your, your uncle? We did do a Hero Square yesterday for my uncle uh, Joseph Ryan and his best friend James Conley. They grew up together at 6 and 7 Monument Street. Yeah. We dedicated the two corners to them. Uh, they were best friends who were killed in action two months apart. One is buried in Belgium and my uncle uh, is buried in France. It's, it was a great story, uh, sad story, but a great story and a great uh, remembrance of them right. 70 years later yesterday bringing the two families back together well this is the iPods for wounded veterans always nice to see them in the parade I know Joe Zavanti has a lot to do with the iPods um, 
He's been going to Washington the last few years for iPods for Walter Reed Hospital. Does the, yeah, Joe does a fantastic job on all our veterans events. He was the Grand Marshal last year. Hey. Um, we're trying to get, this is the, this is a real shot. Another fife and drum corps. All right, let's see. We Middlesex Middle County Volunteers. Yeah, you got it. Drum. Yep, very good. They're in the parade. Every, oh, yeah, they're Great in the parade drum. every year. They look sharp. Those are going to be hot. But thank God it's, just, it's a cool day today. Wow, they went right by. Great job, great job. I know we see them every year. And here's the Charleston Militia Company Garden and oh, Regiment. There we go. Tom Mr. Coots Tom and the crew. What a week they had. These fantastic guys here. Hopefully we can get Tom yeah. uh, back up this way. Believe it or not, Tom Coots doesn't uh, a little bit Charlestown, but he does a lot of work for the Charlestown people. Um, uh, especially uh, during this week, he gets a lot of people. He does a lot of events for us with his color guide, so we're very appreciative for Tom Coots. Been out all week, uh, Jordan. They were actually camped out yesterday on the monument for a lot of tourists had uh, some music about it. Westbrook so. Drum and Pipe Corps, Westbrook, Connecticut. The Acton Company. All right. Acton, Massachusetts. Very nice. And Tom Coots will have the history there, but I believe there was a contingent from Acton who fought at Bunker Hill. We're going to see if we can get Tom Coots to give us a little of the history right now. All right. It's always a pleasure. How are you, Commander? How Good are to you? see you. Danny. Great to see you. Great to be here today. Maybe a little history of some of the... Uh, well, it's, it's really wonderful to see so many militia groups here today. Today is the trifecta of historical celebrations. It's the Battle of Bunker Hill Day, it's the birth of the American Army, and it's Flag Day. That's right. What a perfect day, and God has shined upon us and given us no humidity and a lot of sun. That'd be so great. it's really, really great. And it's wonderful to be here at the foot of the monument where the battle was fought, right here at the training field where all the men fought so hard to, to do the manual of arms. And it's wonderful to see so many here. They're from Lincoln. Yeah, so right. we've got the Lincoln Minutemen here today. Wonderful group. They have fife and drums as well as militia. They do a lot up around Patriots Day. They've got what's great is to see the women and the children in the group. That's always so inspiring. Thank you very much, Tommy. You. you guys had a great week. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, it was so Thank good you. to see so many people out at all the festivities this week. It was a lot of fun. Had a great year and uh, can't look forward to next year. Thank Fantastic. you, Tom. Thank Thank you, you, Superintendent. Yep. I was the superintendent the other oh, yeah, night. Michael Chesney, Superintendent, Chesney, to superintendent, to superintendent uh, of National Parks. To nice to see you, bro. Nice to see you. Wow, nice. what a wonderful day. How was the match? Is the crowd pretty good? Yeah, it was terrific. It was yeah. uh, just crowds along the entire route, and just, it was great to be part of the National Park Service. And just circling around Bunker Hill was just an awesome sight with the flag in the background. Very nice. We were glad to see you. I, I've seen you a couple of times this week, so I know. Yeah. You, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Yeah, we had a good, good, good group, and uh, we had a wonderful fife and drum corps that we followed all the way. So they did a fantastic job. That was awesome. We're very yeah. good. We're so proud of you doing a great job with National Parks. We hope you keep it up. Thanks. Mike. Thanks for Thank all you, you do for preserving the history. We'll see forest. more Thank of you. you. Thanks so much. We're gonna be seeing more okay, of you. Okay. Very good. We'll see you around. Thank right, you, thanks. Superintendent. I didn't get the name of that one, Dan. It's uh, one of the British reenactors. Oh, uh, that's right, groups, Yeah. Which that uh, Bunker Hill was a bit of a civil war, and yeah. they've been great allies to us in Ever since, 150 right. years. So yeah. uh, a lot of 
proud and brave soldiers died that day in red also. So we must also remember their, yeah. their yeah. commitment to their nation as well as to ours. And we have and a stole Minutemen. No, uh, no, yeah, stole mass. That's a little ways, huh? Looks like a civil war. Um, Massachusetts B Battery, a civil war organization. Massachusetts civil war. Of course, we're standing here at the training field, site of the actual training field for the civil war troops. Right, those two um, granite walls that back there with all the names of the ones that uh, were killed. Charleston's got a lot of history. A lot of history. Oh. oh, we're gonna get a little spally here, so very good. That's still part of the contingent of the Massachusetts Civil War organization. I can see a trolley up the top of the hill, Dan. I don't know who's in the trolley. Followed by the Boston police and some first responders. This may be the uh, Boston, Boston police, police department. department. And we all owe our praise and thanks to the Boston police department. All men law enforcement uh, for what they do. And especially uh, what they did today for the parade. Uh, they do a great job keeping uh, the street safe and clear. Yeah, and uh, oh, here we are, the Joseph F. Hill, American Legion Post 156 of Waltham. Waltham and Moody Street on that. Yeah, uh, and they're, yep. they're leading uh, Boston Police Department. Very good. Uh, there's a tough times right now for the BPD and all our law enforcement. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. Uh, they have to be very vigilant, and we appreciate everything they do. Um, God bless them. Very good, very nice. The Walter Evelyn. Well, I hope the crowd gives these people a great hand. They really deserve it. Here are the first responders. Yep. All our first responders. It's a it's, uh, K9 unit. Couple of K9 units, nice. Well, I'll tell you, they really, uh, they're really, they really under a lot of pressure lately. Oh, Attorney General Mara, Mara Healy is oh. coming up, up ahead of us here. Oh, great, great, another townie. And she does great, and she doesn't have far to walk. She uh, lives right down the street. And there she is, Charlestown's own Attorney General Mara Healy. Hi, Ma. How are you, Bill Boyle? How you doing? Did you run? Huh? I ran the whole way. <laughs> Still running. It's a campaign habit. I can't quit. Well, you don't have far to get home either. So I that's know, great. right? Could this not be nicer? This ends yeah. at my door. I'm just so grateful to the people at Charlestown, you know, who came out and supported me and helped get me elected attorney general. And I just wanted to say thank you to people today. And great day, too, in Charlestown, anyway. Thank you, Mara. It's great thank to have you. And it's but great I, to have you but, but, living right down the street from us. Well, it is. But, but trust me. I know, Dan, I am not the most important elected official here in Charlestown. I just I said I will be following in yeah, your footsteps, got... and I want to tell you how, uh, as a resident of Charlestown, I'm so lucky to have you as my representative. And Thank great, you. Great work today. We're lucky to Thank have you. you. Thank you, Mara. Right. Thank you. Attorney General, you. Mara Haley. Shh. 
give us the pat. Okay, great. Wow, look at these organizations, will you? Hey, McGruff the crime oh, dog. Yeah, though. yeah. How's that? Look at that guy. Wow. I know the kids love that. A Mustang GT, huh? Must Sheriff's Department. Great organization. Another law enforcement people. Sheriff Tompkins was on the ballot last year when I was. I got to become very good friends with him. He's a great sheriff and a great public servant. Boy, they got a good contingent here. They brought a lot of people. Great. All right, the sheriff's coming up pretty right behind them. We're going to try to get the sheriff over here. Got Paul Halim with him from Charleston. Steve. How are you? Steve? Hey. How are you, sheriff? Good to see you. Hi, sheriff. How are you, Steve? See the review and seeing him. Yeah. Okay, sure. How are you, Sheriff? Good to see you. Great, good to be great job, uh, Theo. Great uh, parade, huh? We're having a great parade. We're having a good day. The weather's awesome. And Charlestown, what can I say? Forget about it. Everybody yeah. here is just great. We're having a blast. You look very relaxed there. I'm glad you didn't wear that suit and tie, I can't pal. do that. That's what, he's, that's what a tried and true politicians, right? Hey, folks, happy uh, Bunker Hill Day. We'll see you next year. All right. Great to see you, Sheriff. Thank you. You're doing a great job. Thank you, Sheriff. Big gap. We got a gap. Uh, we have guests coming here right now. He's going to sit down. John Tarko um, from Wind Enterprises, a wind development, who gave a donation to the parade this year. And uh, John's been in the neighborhood a lot. John, just want to say happy Bunker Hill Day and, and thank you for supporting John, the parade. John, happy Truck to have Bill you Boyle here. Thank here. you. Thank you. Mr. Representative, thank you for having me over here. And happy Bunker Hill Day to everybody. It's such a wonderful opportunity to be a part of such a wonderful event. I see so many people around here and got a chance to talk to so many people today. You know, we look forward to bringing 4,000 jobs and get, putting a lot of these people to work right around the corner in this neighborhood. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, John. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. Well, up there's Danny's uh, co-partner there, Sean Getchell walking Sean, by. Sean, yeah. Danny's giving his orders for Monday. I don't know why he's still in a tie. <laughs> it's nice to see the sheriff relax, though, you know? Oh, yeah. He does a great job. He's all over the county, and... Uh, he does a good job. He's, done it. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good sheriff. Very good. We've been lucky. Our politicians are all good, I'm telling you. They were right this morning. Oh. Well, this looks like a real shop. Pipe and drum Pipe band. Pipe and drum band. Some of them got police badges on. New Hampshire Police Association, oh. Pipes and Drums, established 1994. And that might have been the sheriff's band, right? They usually assign a band to you when a elected yeah, official yeah. sponsors. Um, that would make sense, the law enforcement. Oh, here we are. Our specialty, Dan. Yeah. Some of a fire from the department. Your you whole got it, family Bill. was involved in the fire. Yep. Your dad, your uncle. I worked with both of them, great men. One was a chief, one was a lieutenant. And Bernie's here today. My uncle Bernie Ryan, retired Boston Fire Department lieutenant. Yeah. Saw yep. him on Bunker Hill Street. I had the privilege of working with uh, Bernie Ryan when he was on Engine 3. Yep. He, uh, he's, how are you? Um, some of it was here. We, we uh, just had a uh, man from Local 7. Oh, they, oh okay. Yeah. Um, sure. Um, so some of it was... He was the fire department. Yeah, remember. and that's why they're here? Oh, well, they, they usually send a piece over, but I think today it's special because they lost that. I mean, they, they were involved in that we did tragedy. Lose, yes, uh, and there was a moment of silence today that Bill yeah. did for... Um, she says, nickname was Moose. Moose, and, um, Moose was his last Moose. name. The young Moose, man that Moose, was killed man. at the Assembly Square Mall. So we uh, sort of gave a little tribute to him today at the breakfast. 
Uh, tragic accident, young family, wife and two young children. Um, our sympathies go out to the family and the people that some of the firefighters responded knew them very well. Local 7? Local 7 Iron Work is in. He has a couple of friends here from Charlestown. In fact, we were at the uh, Eden Street Park event. That, uh, that's how I had found out about it. Uh, a couple of Charlestown guys that had worked with him had mentioned to me, I was walking around with the mayor, that the young man had lost his life uh, yeah. Uh, building Assembly Row, and uh, it's a tragedy. And all right, we got a gap here. So we, okay. Oh, we you know we missed the Everett Police mm -hmm. and the MIT Police, and we have Malden Fire Department honoring America's bravest. Okay, we all the way from uh, New York. We have the commissioner. Commissioner Bill Bratton. Bratton. How are you, sir? Nice very to nice to meet you. He was very active in the nice city of Boston for years, Bill. I'm it's nice to dad. see you. Here with my dad. He was uh, born and raised over here, that, uh, that's, that's 1926. Great. And I grew up on Elm Street. You, did you lose the Boston accent and get the New York no, accent? No, all I have to do is hang out with my dad for about 10 minutes, <laughs> and it all comes back again. Yeah. Oh, have your dad stick his face in here. Dad, if you say a quick hello Come on, Dad. Face. Get in here. He, uh, he cut the ribbon this morning to get the parade started. That was fantastic. How are you, Mr. Bratton? How are you, Mr. Bratton? Pleasure to see you. Oh, I, yeah, my grandson's got it. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure to see you. No, I'm so happy to see you people. That's not, yeah. Happy to be here. <laughs> no, it's been a good, very good day for a parade. Very, very good. And the uh, crowd was good. Not as big as New York, but you know, we, we, but Bill knows that, so he's been in around here. It's a pleasure to have you, and thank you for stopping by, and thank be careful, so and be safe there. Appreciate it. The times that's going on, Commissioner, it's tough. Life is good. Thank uh, you, thank sir. You. Okay, okay, Michelle Wu. Oh, here we go with the... Uh, this is the Mama's, Mama's Band. Stand. This was the band uh, uh, you have to sponsored say by Wynn Resorts. Okay, okay Michelle, thank you. Yep. Can't take it away from the string bands. That the music is just good. Fantastic, and another great concert last night at the Bunker Hill Monument. Yeah. We have Commissioner Bratton and his dad. Uh, That's quite a thing to get them in the parade, huh? Yeah, and they're out front and getting their picture taken with the string band behind them. Chief Marshal O'Toole had mentioned to me the other night that uh, he was marching on the parade. And that, yeah, that uh, Commissioner Bratton's dad was from Charleston. I never knew that. Yeah. That's, that's another first for me. All the years I've been in the town, I never knew that Bratton's father was in the Charleston. In 1926, so he was a contemporary of my dad. They were born in the same year, wow. that's what he just said. So I'm sure they were at many a fire together. Yeah, yeah. If, uh... All right, we were standing by. Now I think our next poll coming up is Mich Michelle Wu. I think, but well, we'll wait. We have. We have a little gap now. They're closer than there, I don't know how far the parade is off, but they seem to be spaced out a little more. Not like when the Chief Marshal was up the front. They got here pretty fast. It must have been that state rep pushing them. <laughs> here comes Michelle. Here's Michelle Wu, yep. yep. She was at the breakfast this morning, as uh, always. She's very active. I think she's shaking hands with the people in the crowd. Oh, yeah, she works a parade real yeah, well. Yeah. She's doing a good job. And had her little baby with her this morning. Hey, Councillor, how are you? Hi, Representative. Very good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, Happy Bunker Council. Hill Day. How are you, Michelle? Good, how are you? Good, nice. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day. So many families out and about. We're always proud to march on this one. One of my favorites. Great. It's great to have you here. And you had your baby with you this morning at the yep. breakfast. 
got to take a nap at the breakfast and again during the parade. He's back up again, and we're, it's been so great to see so many other babies along the route, too. Congratulations. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you for what you do for the city. Town. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. You do a great job. Thank you. That's our city council, Michelle Wu. Does a fantastic job for Charleston. Tony oh, Barry Bam. Tony Barry Bam. I'm sorry. So I guess Massachusetts. Wow. Steve oh, Murphy. Councilor Murphy. Out. Excellent. He's uh, at large. One of at large, large. Yeah. yeah. Michelle was at large too, Jim. Yeah, at, at large, Councilor. Yep. Michelle Wu. Councilor. Hey. Danny, how are you? Hi, Steve. How, how are you? <laughs> how are you? I'm good. What a great day. Yeah. Abba, how are you? <laughs> it was a great day out there. Yeah. Terrific neighborhood, terrific weather, terrific parade. Can't say enough about Beautiful it. Beautiful day. Yeah, nice, comfortable. Not like some of the days you might. Oh, I know. We've had some hot ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you both. Good nice to see you, Council. Thanks Steve. for all the work Thank you're doing. Thank you, Thank you, Bill. Oh, here's the Shriners. Oh, the Shriners. This is a big hit with the kids. They love this. Okay, all right, we got somebody running for city. It's Anissa C.B. George. Uh, she had run two years ago, did a real good job, came in fifth place just out of the running. And she threw her hat back in the ring this year. She's been all around Charleston this week. Anissa, how are you? How are you? We're seeing you this morning. Oh, happy Bunker Hill Day. We've seen it's been you a the great, other night. We it's were, been a great week in yeah. Charlestown, that's it's for nice. sure. Thank you for coming with and, us. Uh, I've really had a great, uh, growing up in Boston, Charlestown's always been a wonderful place, but being able to experience Charlestown Pride to its fullest extent this week at all of your activities has been fabulous. It was very good. So, was... And they've been, everyone's been gracious, and it's been a wonderful week. And thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for, for everything. Yeah. So thank have you. a great week. Good luck to you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Keep it up. What is she? You want it? She's from. And we Spalding Rehab just was Spalding Off Hospital. Oh, the Charleston Health Center is coming up right behind them. MGH. Fantastic. Um, they do a great job, especially the new rehab we got down in uh, the uh, Spalding Navy. Rehab's fantastic. They also do a lot of work in the community around substance abuse. They. Right. Help sponsor the Substance Abuse Coalition, do a lot of work with Charleston Against Drugs. What a beautiful place down there, too, that new Spalding. It's a couple years old, boy, but I'll tell you, it's modern. Modern day. And these are some of the people that work with Mass General and Spalding Rehab, which is nice. They give the day up to march in our parade. You know, it's a Sunday. Looks like we got a some of these people are doctors, therapists at this at the rehab. Okay. Part partners Healthcare Van is here. Yep. They do a great job with their shuttles in Charlestown. Back and forth, they get the elderly and the people that are, can't make the MBTA and great job they do. We're lucky they were fortunate. We have Spalding in one end, and we have the clinic on the, up on the top of our high street, so uh, and we get the Mass Journal about a mile and a half away. Jimmy O'Brien's mom, and Mrs. O'Brien. Oh, we got the Spartans Drum and Bugle Corps. A, a favorite of this town. A lot of these people in this town love drum and bugle because we love them all. But uh, there's something about a drum and bugle court, Dan. I don't know. It's just well, the, you know, the the a uh, lot of talk this week of the majestic nights and a lot of the great history of Charlestown with right. the drum and bugle court. Uh, in fact, uh, Ch Grand Marshal Chief Marshal had talked about his days doing uh, majestic nights, and right. that's where they first learned some of the military discipline and in, in marching. 
I, I had the um, pleasure of being in the Majestic Nights with Bobby and I were together a couple of years. Spartan, Philadelphia? Oh yeah, I think it's Philadelphia, yeah. What a sharp looking outfit they are, huh? Chanting, I think, Sea Town. Must be the young townies or something. Maybe I don't know. This is uh, I don't know. When we get the spots, usually the drum and bugle corps are close to the end of the parade because the people wait. They, they march so fast. They have to be. And people ask me every year, why do the drum and bugle corps go last? Well, the pace that they run, they'd be through the parade in a half hour. Oh, it's Charleston High School. All right, Charleston High School. Here we go. Sea Town. We heard you guys. Charleston High All right, High Charleston School. High. Awesome. They're doing a great job down there. Charleston High School. Boston 2024, the Olympic group. Here we go. All right. Looking good. Boston 2024. Nice job, nice job. <clears throat> it was nice to see the high school there, huh? Yeah. Uh, they're, yeah. They're trying to get active in the community, which is good. We, we, you know, it's been a long time, but. Uh, well, they have the, the Friends of Charleston High group down there now that are helping yeah. to do some fundraising and you for got, them. Uh, Johnny Kelly trying to get that high school hockey team we'll back up See if up that works. Running, it looks yeah. like they'll have a few games looks next like, year, maybe. Yeah, it looks a, like a, we got a, a club a, process yeah. going, but we don't want to. Oh, what's the sound what's the and light? Sound and lights. Oh, okay. Concert band. I never knew the name of this one. Boy, that's a that's quite the piece. I think you're gonna have a beach party with that. Oh, the duck boats. The duck boats. Well, the kids like that. I'm surprised they don't have that quack, quack, quack. <laughs> usually they, they usually throw them off to the side, and the kids along the route are going quack, quack, quack. quack I told quack, you, quack. they are. Quack, there we go. Quack, quack, oh, quack. that's the John F. Kennedy Family Service Center. Fantastic. Excellent. They have a um, big event coming up this Saturday. Yeah, the they have uh, their 50th anniversary. What a lot of work they Is do. That unbelievable? Great work Great in Charleston. Yep. Oh, 50 man. years, the war in poverty. Yep. Oh my God. And it's funny, somebody says the Kennedy Center, and it's run by Kennedy. It's a, a man who runs it. Yeah, yeah that's Kennedy, yeah. just a, Jerry Kennedy, it's just a coincidence. Oh, the old New Liberty Jazz Band. Oh, yeah. New Liberty Jazz Band. They run it every year. Great job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the, uh, the older people appreciate them. Including myself. <laughs> I'm getting there, Bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're... No, it's great to have uh, just uh, the different types of music. We have the few pipe bands and yeah. the jazz band and the drum and bugle, the drum and bugle mixed in with the pipes. It's, yeah. uh, it's a great mixture. Oh, here we go. This is the. Uh... Hill? This guy juggled the entire way. The Hill Millis Clown Band, something like that. Wow, that's fantastic. That's a happy group.
Zarex, how about that? Made in Massachusetts, Zippy Zebra. Zippy Zebra. Zarex is making a comeback, fantastic. Seventh Regiment, Drum and Bugle Corps. Let's see if, let's see if they can sponsor by the Charlestown YMCA. Great job. Wow, look at look at the group coming down the hill there. Look at it on the one of that. I'm the shop looking. Oh boy, yeah. And that's part of this contingent here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a huge, huge drum and bugle call. We'll sit back and listen to this one, yes, Bill. We Enjoy will. this one at home. Yeah. Excellent. What a sharp looking group. Well, I'm partial to drum corps anyway, so seeing that I wasn't in the best of nights. These, all these young people have to be under 21 to be in these cores. They're, ju they're junior cores, not seniors. Seniors are 21 and over. Kids do a fantastic job. Team says 25. Oh, yeah, Sean Long, and Brian. Sean O'Brien. Another family from Charlestown. Long time Charlestown family and uh, so much that they do for Charlestown. Yep, They've yep. Uh, been sponsoring Little League and Babe Ruth since I played back in the day. Yeah, they were always involved in something with the youth of Charlestown. <clears throat> I believe we have the Cycle and Murray's coming down the hill. That's always a fan favorite, crowd favorite. Yeah, yeah. They, uh... They're amazing how they just spin around on these bikes, especially the unicycles. Sure. Yeah, yeah, they do a great job. I think I tried that right a couple of Out of Cambridge or Arlington? And um, it's a family, yeah, the Cyclone Murray's. I thought that, Cambridge I, I, or Arlington, and uh, it's it's a family, the yeah. Murray's, that uh, do this in parades all over the place, and this, they really do a great job. Uh, the, the unicycle is the one I get the kick out of, playing, spinning around. Yeah. Okay. Great, thank you. Here they are. Somebody just yelled, here they are. Up. Um, we got to thank everybody that sponsored this parade today. It was a great parade uh, after Hurley in the American Legion Post 26, of which Bill's a member. Does a fantastic job, really, in bringing a whole weekend of uh, festivities to us. Mass, Mass remembering General, the battle, Mass General Hospital, Part Partners Healthcare, Partners Healthcare, and all the politicians, all the elected officials, uh, Michelle Wu, Steve Murphy, uh, Michael uh, Flaherty, uh, Senator Saldi Domenico, City Councilor Sala Martina, our Mayor, that, that guy Dan Ryan, and yeah, that representative Dan Ryan, and of course Mayor Marty Walsh. Um, it's been a it's been a great win resorts also Wind sponsored yep. a band, and did we get everybody? And this is Sabi George, a candidate for Boston City Council at large. 
Sheriff Steve Tompkins. Yeah, yeah. All these people either sponsor the band or donate for the parade, so we have to mention them. Uh, it's only right. But on wrapping up, Danny and I, this is our first year doing this, and we hope it's more. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, both of us born and raised in Charlestown, so it's a pleasure for us. Um, I, I don't want you last few words, Dan, you want to say? Uh, Just want to say thank you very much for having me on. This was a great uh, pleasure. I got to actually sit at the end of the parade and listen. It's a great, uh, great view. And I uh, thank you, Bill. I had a wonderful time and look forward to next year. I want to thank the staff at BNN uh, under the direction of David Palomares. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, we were in a new position this year, so if there was any any problems, it's not uh, it's not their fault. Everything was moved on them in the last minute. So with that, I think we're going to close. And thank you for having and have a safe night. Now everybody, make the right choices tonight. And remember. Hold on one second. Yeah. And remember what I always say, Charles, now when I close. Thank you very much. Respect one another. And I want to thank the whole crew at BNN for all the work they did for us. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Happy Bunker Hill Day, everybody. And stay safe. Thank you.